Hi, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, welcoming you to our first video in the series on the brand new Laser Imprints Go Uno Color Laser Printer. In this video, we're going to show you how to set the unit up and install it on the computer so that you get up and running. We're going to take you through step by step from taking it out of the box, showing you the pieces and components of the printer and explaining how they work, getting the printer set up so that it's ready to operate, and installing the driver so that you're up and running. One thing I want to note here, this is the box and how it ships. It is very heavy and usually requires two people to lift, so make a note of that. Also, when it comes to these printers, we ship these printers by truck line because of the weight of the unit. If you receive a shipment of a Laser Imprints Go Uno, you want to make sure to physically inspect the box for any damage just in case it was banged around by the trucking company. Also, you want to open up the box and inspect the printer for any physical damage. If you note any damage to your machine, please note it on the bill of lading with the trucking company or contact us within 24 hours so that we could file a service claim. Like I said, it's a pretty heavy unit, so I'm going to go get some guys to help me unbox this thing, and when we come back, we're going to show you the pieces and components of the Laser Imprints Go Uno. So here's the Laser Imprints Go Uno out of its box. You will notice the blue packing tape meant to keep everything secure. You want to make sure that you remove all these pieces of blue packing tape from your unit. So go ahead and give me a second to do that, and then we'll open up the unit so we can identify the components. Now that we've stripped all the packing tape off of the Laser Imprints Go Uno, let's go ahead and open up the unit so we can begin to identify the components that make up the Laser Imprints Go Uno printer. The first thing that we want to identify are these strips located along the top of the lid. These are your LED print heads, which command the image drums where to deposit the toner. What you want to make certain is that you do not touch these pieces, these print heads, with your fingertips. The oil off of your fingertips will affect the way the unit prints, so make sure not to touch these with your bare hands. If you need to clean them, just take a lint-free cloth and gently wipe in one direction. Next, I want to point to this black belt down inside of the printer. This is known as the transfer belt. This is what physically moves the page through the printer. As the page moves, the transfer belt turns where the toner is deposited by the developers till it gets to the fuser section where the fuser section bonds the toner to the page. When it comes to this black belt, you want to make sure that it's seated level. If you ever get an instance where a paper wants to go into the fuser section cockeyed and it jams right before the fuser, it means your belt might be slightly out of alignment and you need to check it. Now this printer here, I've stripped a lot of the other components out, so let's go ahead and take a look at the other components so we can identify them piece by piece. Now let's identify the other components that make up the Laser Imprints Go Uno printer. This unit right here is what we refer to as the fuser section. Again, this is the unit that heats up so when the transfer paper or page passes through this device, the heat generated from this device bonds the toner to the page. Next, we've got four image drums, one for each color, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. The image drum the print head fits behind the image drum and the commands the image drum where to deposit the toner on the page. Seeing that this is an LED single pass printer, all four of these drums are depositing toner at the same time. Next, we have our four toner cartridges that ship with the printer. Again, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. The toner cartridge will actually fit into the image drum and I'll show you how to do that. The other items that you should receive inside your box is you should receive this quick start guide, a visual representation for setting up your printer, a power cord, and the printer driver that will install on their PC or Macintosh device. One thing of note, the one item that does not ship with the printer is a printer cable. This printer connects either through USB 2.0 or an Ethernet connection. So make sure you have your own printer cable. Now, let's go ahead and start putting these components back in the machine and I'll show you how to set this machine up. Now that we've identified all the components that make up the Laser Imprints Go Uno, let's go ahead and start setting up this particular printer. 
The first thing I'm going to want to do is install the fuser section. I'll open up my printer, grab my fuser section, it loads in this way with this notch raised up in the unlocked position. Fuser section drops straight in and we push the tab to lock it in place. Next thing we want to do is load the image drums. Make sure you align the corresponding color to its slot. So we'll load the cyan, the magenta, the yellow, and the black. Now to point out, when you receive your Laser Imprints Go Uno unit, it will look like this when you take it out of the box. So now what we have to do is activate the image drums and install the toner cartridge. I'll demonstrate with the black. First thing we're going to want to do, remove the tape and pull the activation strip out like so. We will set the image drum back inside and then we will take this notch to remove the guard. Now this image drum is ready to have the toner cartridge installed to it. Make sure you use the corresponding color cartridge for your image drum. Give it a shake side to side to activate. Remove the protective tape. And then set the cartridge at an angle, pushing it into its receptor, pushing straight down. You will notice the blue tab. This is your locking tab. Once you have the cartridge set in place, move the tab into the lock position. I'll go ahead and repeat this step for the next three image drums and toner cartridges. So let me get back to you in a second and then we'll work on getting the driver installed on our computer. Now that we have our image drums activated and our toner cartridges locked in to our image drums, we can go ahead and close the unit, take our power cord, plug it into the back of the machine, and now we're ready to install the driver. So let me jump to my computer so I can show you exactly how to install the driver. Now let's go ahead and load the driver for the Laser Imprints Go Uno. When you first install your CD-ROM in your computer, you should get a screen that looks similar to this. First thing we'll need to do is specify an install language. Me personally, I prefer English. Next, you'll get to a screen with the software license agreement. We'll go ahead and agree to the software terms and conditions. Once we're on this screen here, we'll go ahead and install the driver. At this point, you select whether you're doing a local printer, which is connected through USB, or a network printer, which is connected through Ethernet. If you're doing a local printer, make sure you're going to a universal serial bus or USB port. One thing that you want to note is you want to Make sure that the driver is installed before you connect the printer to your computer with a USB cable. Once you see this screen, it is now safe to go ahead and connect your Laser Imprints Go Uno to your computer with a USB cable. At that point, your Windows plug and play feature should take over and finish the driver installation.
Once we have the driver installed and our USB cable connected to our printer, at that point, as I mentioned, Windows Plug and Play should take over. If you open up your devices and printers, you should see the Go C830PS, aka the Go Uno. Now, to make sure our device is properly installed, let's send a test page to the Laser and Prints Go Uno. I'll right click, go to Printer Properties, and then move down to Print Test Page. So let's go ahead and click and let's see if a page is generated and sent to the printer. Okay. If you see this test page printed, it means that the Go Uno printer is successfully connected to your computer, the driver is installed, and you are now ready to print. So make sure you tune in to video two of this series where we show you how to run Nina brand t-shirt transfer papers through the Laser Imprints Go Uno. If you have any questions or if you need any additional information, don't hesitate to contact us directly at 1-800-826-6332 or you can visit our website at www.condi.com for more information. My name's Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up and I thank you for yours.